Hey, y'all. This story I'm about to tell you um, happened here in Florida, and it happened back in 1978. And the reason I'm telling you this story is because it kind of connects with a newer story because it's in the same area. So back in 1978 and Jonathan Dickinson State Park, it's just north of uh, Juniper, Florida. There was a family that went out there and went camping and the little boy decided he was going to, you know, go explore. I think he was like, I think he said he was around 10 or 11 in the report. And, um, you know, back then, you know, your kids just ran and you didn't really worry about them and you wanted them home before dark. And that was it. But he decided he was going to explore the campground. And he got pretty far away, you know, probably about a mile or so. And he saw this really old fire tower. And he thought, man, that would be cool if I could crawl up there and and see the whole area. And it was really old and it was fenced off. So he had to jump this fence just to get in there to get up in the thing. And it was real rickety and he was worried about falling. But he managed to get over the fence and got up in the thing and was looking around and was just in awe because he could see so far. And then, you know, he sat up there for a while and just laid down and was looking around and decided, you know, I should probably get back because it's going to be getting dark soon. So he made his way down this fire tower and all around him was nothing but, but swamp and brush and palm fronds and just, you know, the Florida woods. So he makes his way down this fire tower and as he gets, you know, down to the bottom of it, he realizes he can't climb back over the fence the way he came because there was some bob wire there and he wasn't able to get it over it the way he came in because of the way that it was leaning. So he went and jumped to the back of this fence towards the woods. So when he jumped over the, the fence in the back, he made a huge thump. And as soon as he made that thump, he looked up and he saw this face look up at him. And he was like, just in awe of this huge face that was looking at him. He said it looked so human. And he said the next thing he knew, the thing stood up and screamed and ran across the road on two legs into the other side of the road into the woods. Now, this kid knew that what he saw was a Bigfoot. He had heard stories about Bigfoot, but he didn't believe him. He thought it was just a legend until he saw this. Well, needless to say, by this time it was almost dark and he was about a mile away from camp still. So he just booked it down this road as fast as he could run all the way back down to camp. And when he got back to camp, he told his parents what happened. And of course, his whole family made fun of him pretty much for the rest of his life. But that's the story of this little boy. Um, And this next story I'm going to tell you kind of connects to that one. So I also wanted to let you know that that little boy said that this thing had an odor to it, like a wet dog smell, Um, and I forgot to mention that. But this next story is about a gentleman um, that was in that same area, and this happened in August of 2021. He said he works in Stewart and lives in Jupiter. He was traveling down um, US-1, and he was coming home really late from work he said there wasn't many cars on the road he said there was one other pickup that was behind him he noticed something really super large walking down the side of the road and he thought it was a human and he thought well why is this person walking down this road this late at at night he said the thing looked like it had football pads on its shoulders it was so big so he kept driving down and he noticed that it had shaggy hair, like really long hair that was hanging off its arms, and it had really long arms. He said he slowly drove by it and stared at it, and as he was staring at it, the truck behind him passed him and then put on his brakes because he said he thinks that truck saw it too. And then after he put on the brakes, he excelled at a high rate of speed and took off. He said this thing looked like it had, like, grayish hair. Um, And the little boy also said the one he saw 
was kind of grayish in color. But this both both of these happened. This was right outside the Jonathan Dickinson State Park as well, in that same exact area. And it was at night he saw it walking down the road. So I think there's some activity over in that area. Pretty cool stories, but I just wanted to let you know about them. Um, I'm not sure, you know. That was such a long time ago, 1976 or 74 to 2021. So maybe there's a family over there. I appreciate you listening to my stories and I appreciate you watching my videos. And if you like what you're hearing and seeing, please like and subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you then. So I'm hearing something making a weird noise out here. Hopefully when it gets later, I can hear it better. So I'm sitting here by the fire and I could hear something howling in the woods. There's people talking, but Every now and then you can hear something howling. There it is again.